Hey friends, and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a fun one. I'm going to be sharing with you what I put in my eight-year-old son's stocking or what's going in his stocking, the things that I've purchased for his stocking. So a lot of the things are things that um, I purchased a long time ago. They um, can be for a boy or a girl. Um, he is eight, in case you don't know or haven't watched any of my other videos. My son is eight, and he has a uh, love for Harry Potter, anime, science, reading, drawing, all of those things. So you'll see some things related to that for his stocking and some fun things for your kids as well. Now, stockings are a big deal in our house. So we open stockings last on Christmas day. We are all so excited for stockings. Everybody's stocking is full and it's kind of like an anticipation of the end of all of the gift opening and a lot of times in our stockings I will put accessories that go with other gifts that they've gotten um so stockings can't be open first because it might ruin <laughs> you know, another gift. So we always do stockings last and it is so fun. So after we do stockings, we have breakfast. And um, so it's a very import, important part of our Christmas morning. So you'll see lots of things in this and know our stockings really can't hold everything. So we have overflow. I usually have a little gift bag under each person's stocking for the stocking overflow. So I'll show you, let me show you um, our stockings if you haven't seen our decorating video. So I'll show you our stockings. So this is Dylan's stocking. Um, our, our stockings all look the same. His little tag fell off. I have to fix that. But um, they are quite large and this is a burlap material. So you wouldn't think that it would be too pliable, but honey, Mama gets a lot in these stockings. So um, so that's what we're working with. So let me just go ahead and jump in with what I purchased and I'll kind of tell you where I got it from. Um, and if I can remember, I'll tell you how much it costs. So the first thing I'm gonna show you are these um, Naruto socks that are going into his stocking. It's two pair. I purchased these from Five Below. So he'll love those. And I showed you this in his, um, what I got my child for Christmas video. And this is a Naruto character, but it's by Rubik's Cube. Um, where is it? Yeah, it's by Rubik's Cube. So you, you, you kind of take him apart and have to put him back together to look like this. So I'll be interested to see what he thinks about this, but I decided that it will be a stocking gift instead of a tree gift. Um, I also picked him up this Switch game. It is pre-owned, it is Harry Potter. It's the Harry Potter Nintendo Switch game. And it's kind of, I was disappointed by this ugly packaging, but I got it really cheap from GameStop. It was much cheaper than buying it from uh, Target or Walmart, especially if I'm not sure he will like it. So I only paid a few dollars for this from GameStop. It was pre-owned. So I think it was maybe $15. Um, so this will go in his stocking. And a lot of times I do put Switch games in their stocking, um, things like that, that will, or a video game that goes with their game system. So that'll be in his stocking. One more thing, it might be a couple things. One more thing I showed you in his haul um, it was this Naruto hat and glove set. I am going to just go ahead and roll this up and stick it down in his stocking. I purchased that from Macy's. Um, if you didn't see my other video on it, it was $10. Um, when I was at, I went to my favorite discount store called Dee Dee's Discount after my business trip. Um, and I saw this, um, Jordan hat. Um, he has a couple pair of Jordans and so, and it is a kid size 
and this was $7.99 there. So this will be a stocking gift as well. I went ahead and purchased him um, some small Nerf guns because he wanted some outside things. And I don't think I shared that on the haul, but I am going to do like a part two for the rest of the little gifts that I bought him in case you want to check that out when it comes. But I purchased him these refill Nerf bullets and they also came from dds and guys they were 3.99 for all of these bullets so that'll be in his stocking that's a great stocking stuffer um at dollar tree they had this little pack of pokemon cards and you get at first i was like it was five dollars um and I was like, I'm not paying $5 for one Pokemon card because on the back it says one sword and shield, one promo card, and um, one special card. And I was like, I'm not buying that. But the girl at the register was like, oh no, it says a booster pack. So you get a little pack of cards in there. So I was like, I'm coming to get you if there's not a pack of cards in here because it looks like one card. But anyway, I purchased this for him. He asked for Pokemon cards for Christmas. So I'm just going to stick this little pack in his stocking. Um, guys, you can laugh at me or talk about me if you want to. But he's getting these in his stocking. These are the free earbuds that they pass out on the plane on my Delta flight. I said, yeah, sure, I want to pack. I'm going to put these in his stocking because he never has his earbuds or he's broken his earphones. So homeboy is getting this in his stocking. I'm that mom that does not let anything go to waste. And during Christmas time, whatever my kids ask for, I'm like, put it on your Christmas list. Mama, I need some more deodorant. Okay, honey, put it on your Christmas list. Yeah, I'm that mom. I'm that mom. But, but I'm just going to throw these down in his stocking. They're going to be lost anyway. So I thought it was a good little stocking gift. And things like that, I go to um, different conferences and trainings on my job. And they have all of these little tchotchkes and um, insulated cups and little things that... Um, furry pins that kids might think are great. And I always save those little things like that and re-gift them and give them to my kids and put them, they make great stocking stuffers. Um, <clears throat> I also picked up for him from the little discount store, this 10 foot iPhone cable. It's got an extra long cord. I love the 10 foot cables, but this one has a, kind of protective cord around it. He always frays his cords. He's broken his right now and is having to borrow mine. Um, and so I don't know what kids do to those cords or if they're just not made that great, but this was $5. So I'm going to stick it in his stocking and it's blue. So I thought that was really cute. That's a great stocking stuffer because it's something that he won't play with, but he actually needs it. Um, something else cute that I picked him up were these little Bluetooth, um, wireless earbuds. I know I just showed you some corded earbuds, <laughs> but, um, he'll think these are AirPods like his sisters have. His sisters ha do have some Apple AirPods, um, but these were $9.99 and they look just like AirPods. So I'm going to put these in his stocking and I really think he's going to like them because he's going to think they're AirPods and maybe not. I underestimate him a lot, but it won't matter. He doesn't care about a name being on it, but it does look like the ones his sisters have. And I believe that the little silicone cases they sell will fit this as well. So I'm very excited to put this in his stocking and it was, um, they were $9.99. Um, I also picked up, I've been seeing a lot, um, this of Canoodle, this game Canoodle, um, and it is supposed to be, it's brain teasing puzzles, and this is a mini version of it. They have a bigger one, 
And so what I'm planning to do, I'm sorry, there's a glare. What I'm planning to do is kind of um, look at some videos of how people play it. He will love this. He loves brain teasers and puzzles and things where he has to think and figure it out. So he will love this. And I got this from Kohl's. They had like an extra 40% off of their um, games and little novelty puzzles. So I think this was like $6 um, from Kohl's. So I think he's going to really like this. He loves games. Um, when I was also in the discount store, I saw these um, drawing pads. It came in a set of two. Look at that for y'all. $3.99 and he loves to draw and write and so I couldn't leave those they are spiral bound um, five by eight five and a half by eight and there are um, 70 sheets of sketch paper and 20 sheets of drawing paper I don't really know the difference but um, at any rate each book has 70 sheets of sketch paper and 20 sheets of drawing paper. He'll treat them the same. Um, but I just thought that was such a neat gift to go along with the sketch pad. I'm going to give him the soft grip color pencils. These came from Ross, y'all, for $3.99. But these actually came out of my garage sash. I mentioned in his haul video, and I'm out of breath because I had to run upstairs and get them. <laughs> so anyway, um, I, I mentioned that we kind of buy things if we don't give it to them or they have too much, we'll stash it away. So when I saw these, I was like, oh, I think he's ready for these. But these colored pencils each have a gripper on them that's the same color as the color pencil. So I thought that was really neat. These were $3.99, but I, I didn't get these recently. I've had them now for a year or so. So I thought that these two things would go great together. And so of course these would be, honestly, I could wrap this up as a tree gift, but it'll probably be in his little overflow bag up under the stocking. The next thing I have is just this little word search from Dollar Tree. He loves word searches. Um, and so I am going to put this in his stocking. This probably will be his favorite thing, um, this $1 word search puzzle. The only thing I don't like about it, and I looked for the large print kind, was that these are letters are so tiny. Um, so I may try to find him another one at another Dollar Tree. They didn't have the large print like they usually have, so I just grabbed this one. But he'll love he'll love that puzzle book in his stocking. Um, another cool thing that I picked up from Five Below were these Naruto um, buttons uh, that he can put on his backpack or he can put it on his lunchbox. My mom is making him a custom anime jacket i purchased him a black bomber jacket from well she bought i purchased it for her i ordered it for her and um so we purchased some applique patches and numbers and letters so she's gonna make him a very cool letterman's jacket she's a seamstress and so I felt like he could take a couple of these buttons and add it to his jacket. So he will he will get these before he gets the jacket from my mom. But um, I thought these were so cool. So these came from, from Five Below. A couple more things. I did show you this in the haul, this Harry Potter wand. I feel like I'm just going to make this a stocking gift um, and put it in his little overflow bag. But uh, I did purchase this from Macy's. If you didn't see my other, oh, excuse me, if you didn't see my other video, um, and it was six ninety nine from Macy's. Also have this little mini brand surprise um, ball. He does like mini brands. He was a surprise bag nut for a minute um and he's kind of tapered off but he does think it's kind of cool when he opens the mini brands to see 
which brand he may get. So I just picked him up one little mini brands ball to go in his stocking. So he'll enjoy that. Okay, along the same lines as the mini brands blind, uh, blind bag, I picked up this Naruto lined surprise bag from Target. So there is one mini Naruto figure in here. Also picked up these Harry Potter stickers. Sorry for the glare. These Harry Potter stickers from Five Below, they were $2. So he'll have fun putting those on a notebook or on his laptop or on the back of his iPad. I don't mind if he puts stickers on those things. Um, his sisters have stickers all over there devices. So he'll like those. Very cool thing I found at Five Below for him. Another thing he broke y'all was the <laughs> charging port. <laughs> I don't, and I was, I was like, Dylan, how did you break your charging port? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I picked him up this charging port from USB um, wall charger from five below and look what it looks like. It looks like sushi. I think that is so cool and he loves sushi. So he will think that that is super cool. So I picked that up and that'll be in his stocking as well. He does love these stretchy um, sensory noodles. Uh, and I did pick him up some last year and he, he still has a couple, but he loves these. I find them all over the house. And so, um, he loves just pulling and fiddling with him. So this is just along the lines of those fidget toys, which he does like, and this was from Dollar Tree. It was $3. A couple other things and that will do it for Dylan. Um, I picked him up this little beaded uh, bracelet from Shein. I was ordering my girls some things and I actually found him some cool um, little clothing items. But in the boy jewelry section, they had some bracelets and I thought I saw this one and I thought he would really, really like it. It was a dollar and 50 cent. <laughs> it was a dollar 50. Um, so I'm going to throw that down in his stocking. He's going to really like that. And then the last few things I have are just some food items. Um, I purchased him these pepperoni sticks. I have a boy who loves milk, cheese, and meat. So <laughs> that that's if he could live on milk, cheese, and meat, he would be happy, but he wouldn't be healthy. So, but mama is obliging him for his stocking. So I picked him up two of these uh, little pepperoni sticks from Dollar Tree. That's just a fun little thing that I'll stick down in his stocking. And then he has some trolley, sour bright reindeer poop. He's a, do you, if you have a boy, do they just fall out laughing when you say poop or fart or, or anything like that. But um, I got him these sour, bright reindeer poop. And then a staple in my kid's stocking every year um, are these filled candy canes. His is the Haribo. He loves Haribo. So I picked that up for him. And he does have a few other candy um, type things like the chocolate coins. I always put the chocolate coins in there and uh, each one of them gets chocolate coins and I'll probably show you when I do my daughters and a chocolate bar um, that he has. But that is it for our stockings. I think I'm going to show you how it looks. I think a lot of times we see stocking videos but we don't really see how they're stuffed. So I'm gonna put some things in his stocking and just kind of show you what our stockings generally look like on Christmas morning. So here's his stocking. Honey, I am a master stocking stuffer. It is packed. There are things all the way down to the toe. The only things that I couldn't fit in there are the Rubik's Cube, the Nerf bullets, the 
um, colored pencils and the sketchbook, but everything else <laughs> is in here and I'm in business. Um, so asking me if I'll be able to pack it like this again on Christmas Eve, uh, yeah, we'll make it work, but here we go. So I forgot the last thing that goes in his stocking is this bit of wrapping paper. So on Christmas morning, I do not write names on our gifts. Everyone in our house has their own wrapping paper. And so on when before Christmas, they don't know whose gifts are whose and they go to their stocking before we open gifts. They don't open their stockings but they, there will be a piece of wrapping paper sticking outside of their stocking and that tells them which gifts are theirs. So they have to go to their stocking uh, when we wake up, after we pray and we do all of our things. Um, before we open gifts, they have to walk over to their stocking, find their wrapping paper in their stocking and that's how they'll know what gifts are theirs. So, so fun. So um, when they get up, there'll be a piece of paper, um, kind of like this stuck in their stockings. So yeah, just wanted to share that with you. It's such a fun idea. That is it. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'm sorry, my ring light just went out. So I'm sorry about the crazy lighting, but I hope you've enjoyed this video and gotten some ideas. That's what will be in my baby's stocking and you will see me back in just a little while with stocking ideas for my teenager and my young adult and my husband. So if you like this video, go ahead, click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you will not miss what we have coming up. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.